Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nicholas and this is Major Crit. We're back in Ganon's Tower. I went off, got some blue potions, refilled my magic, and uh, we're ready to go back in. I um, also made a save state back at the beginning of the tower. So I do reserve the right to reload from there if things get too wonky. Um, I'm also gonna test out this room. So I'll admit I went ahead and had a look at the map of this floor just to see like if I'm gonna put in all this work to try to get through these doors, like is it going to lead to anything that's actually useful? And the answer is yes. And uh, while I was looking at the map, I realized that they also had on this floor, mar or in this room specifically, they had it marked that um, there was a key in here. So I didn't read any guide or anything, but I'm presuming if there's a key in here, then it must be accessed by... Hmm. Well, I thought it would be accessed by waiting for all those things to finish. Oh, there we go. Okay, just a bit delayed. There we go. Uh, and now that'll let us go back through this door on the left. So let's go ahead and hit that real quick. And hey, we can start picking up pots and stuff again. Um, because those have been reset. So you want to go... We need to use a hammer in here. I wish that enemies dropped like hearts and stuff more often. I feel like it's so often a waste. Fight them. Other than just, you know, like getting them out of the way. Okay. Made sure I was lined up correctly. Now, go through here. And hey, a treasure chest. And a heart. Okay. And now, quick. Hey, you got the map. Nice. Right. Um, okay, so as you can see, the first floor is jam packed. Uh, B1, we already did all of, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Second floor is just the staircases up and down. And then from here on, it looks like the dungeon actually gets more simple. It kind of only has a few rooms, and a lot of them looks relatively linear. So I feel like this first floor level is actually the most difficult one. Um, and I think technically we don't even really need to go through here. But um, I want to go through here. Because I like completing dungeons. Completing dungeons means doing all of it, or at least all of it that I can reach. Ah, uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Right. So, got that. We can go through here. Our can of Packy out. Run through this room. Start trying to figure out how to deal with this. Now I think I might actually need to go in the opposite direction of my presumption last time. Because what the torches are doing is open opening this door down here. So I think we'll have to, like, use our boots to get through here as fast as possible. Um, against the grain. But what I will do is make a little save state. Everyone look away. Oh, what happened? The screen went dark for a second. What, what could it have been? And I think also... Use that to conserve our mana a bit. There we go. And through. All right, that wasn't too bad. Um, does the wearers work on those guys as well? Yes, it does. Very well. But we also only need, what, two hits from the golden sword? So that's not too bad. Leave we can... Oh. Throw a bomb. Man, again. Oh, hey, you could just walk through there. That seems unfair. Double tap the button. Mm -hmm. okay, 
I don't know why I'm being so far away to throw that when I know that the bomb just barely reaches. Okay. So good to be making progress again. I'm nervous about a shadow coming down from the ceiling and being a hand grabbing me again. Yo, you found the compass! Let me guess, he's gonna be on the top floor. Who would've thunk it? <laughs> Alright, but we've got the map and the compass now. Both technically optional, but I like to have them. Ouch. Yeah. I thought, like, man, I probably only have, like, one episode left, because I'm just gonna, you know, get through this dungeon and be done in an episode. Not fool on me. Alright. Let's see. Let, how are we doing on our map here? Alright, so we've got a few rooms we haven't been through yet. Ouch. Just walk right into that one. I don't know why I thought it was spinning in the other direction. I probably should have used my cape or something for that. Or my um, wand of Birna, or whatever. Alright, how do I deal with you? Deal with you? Ah! Yep. Well. Sometimes Link just seems to really be slippery. Okay. I carefully walk here? Yes. Carefully walk there, yes. Carefully slash you, yes. Carefully walk through the portal, yes. Um, carefully light a torch and hope it reveals a hidden pass. Yep, like it did last time. Carefully walk out this door and then carefully find ourselves um, at the end. Okay, one second, what are those two rooms? What are those two rooms, and how did we get there in the first place? Because we've been in there. Where are you going? We don't have any keys or anything. Alright, well... I mm, kind of just want to go up to the next floor. Let me just check that map I was looking at real quick. Just so we don't waste too much time, alright? Be right back. Alright, found it. Shout out to Mike's RPG Center. Now, let's see, I think we can... Yeah! Wait, can we? One second. So, the reason why that thing is disconnected from everything else is because it was something we reached through this teleporter room, apparently. Um, so we just have to try to get back into that room. And pay attention to where we are on the map. Oh. This is like one way now, functionally. Ah, that's a pain in the neck. When I want to go backwards, I can't. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and loop around because it's just rooms we've been in like twice before. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, hey everyone. I'm not back like I said I would be, you know, or where I said I would be. But then I, I just remembered something as I was pulling out the hammer to get through the that room right before this with the little whack-a-moles. Didn't someone tell us recently that if you freeze an enemy and then hit them with uh, the hammer, they drop magic? I completely forgot about that. Oh, why did I do that? Um, now, of course, that requires you to be able to freeze enemies, like have enough magic in reserve still. Go. Much more careful this time than we were last time. There we go. Just barely missed it. All right. Got a heart here. We're gonna need the hook shot to get across. Hey, we didn't even take any damage. Great. All right. Oh yeah, we can even see it right there. All right. Uh, the wall to the left is obviously cracked. I don't know how I didn't notice that earlier. Right. 
So I'm just gonna start going through here. There we go. Alright. I knew I'd get there eventually. We alright. I don't know how I did how did I not notice that previously? Alright. I got a bunch of these things on the floor. Oh, there we go. One of them was an actual thing on the floor. Leading us to this just treasure room. I don't know what's in here. Nice, some bombs. We're used up quite a few of those. Back to full, I think, on those. Sweet. All right. Was that necessary? Absolutely not. Um, in fact, I think I'm just going to mirror my way out now. Because we finally completely finished 1F and B1. <laughs> which means, finally, after an episode and a half, we can start going up the tower. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and equip the arrows, just because those are so powerful. Now, I will admit, I'll, I'll cop to it. Um, I did see one other hint as I was, like, scanning through, trying to figure out, like, how to get through that room with the, um, what you call it? Where we had to use the fire rod, light all the torches, that room. Seems like really slow down. I don't know what like emulator Nintendo chose to use their game here, but it seems like it struggles sometimes. Then again, I struggle sometimes, so you know. Okay. There we go. I knew we had to push one of those blocks in some direction. Why do I want to grab you? I don't know. Maybe I can put you in front of a spike. Seems like a good use for you. Okay. That's going to make that difficult. Yeah, if I press A, it actually only allows me to pull. There we go. Noisy, but it works. Oh, there were two of you down there. Okay, oh, hmm. I thought I was gonna have to do something else here. All right, sweet, well that works. Four of you guys. Now, now that I've got the mirror shield, these guys are a lot easier to handle. I can't block those beams. Right, the big key, we got that. Sweet, straight th through we go. That looks like a lower level. And something is certainly smacking around down there. All right, well, okay, let's have a look at this before we start taking action. All right, so obviously there are Spikes down there that are trapped in a narrow thing next to the edge. Might be best for me to jump down here. Oh, I thought that was an. Oh, it's one of you guys! Sorry, the other guys who you kill with arrows. Um, can I just ignore you? Yes. Crap? Yes. Excellent. Good timing. Annoying noise, but good timing. Alright. Uh, run across here as fast as we can? Nope. Alright, that is not the way. Thought it was going to be... This looks similar to a lot of those floors that, like, would, uh, get destroyed out from underneath us. I mean, obviously, there's a vulnerable wall there, right? 
how do we get across there? I thought that maybe pushing one of these blocks would cause an effect. Hmm. Was there anything here that looks interactable? Huh? Really? Interacted with by a bullet, though. Or a cannonball. More like a cannonball, I guess. Man, I got across here so well the first time, and now I'm just struggling with it. Try this real quick. Hello, goodbye. All right, so we've had invisible platforms, so now I'm kind of like suspicious of things, right? So that must be a way to get back across. How do we get there in the first place? Like, we can, once we're on the other side, the, the lower end of the platform, we can use these two blocks of chat back across. Never did get anything that allowed us to jump or anything, right? Yeah, what I did see, by the way, uh, online, I was going to cop to that earlier, was that um, if you use the Ether medallion, it allows uh, you to see hidden, hidden things. Not sure what to interact with there. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, there's any way for me to like destroy? I just do this for now, just in case there is anything invisible. Nope. And those cannonball shooters didn't interact with it at all. Really don't know. I bet, like, that's a room full of fairies, which would be super useful to me right now, given how badly injured I am. Is there any way for me to, like, fall down? No, not even a way to fall down into that room, is there? It doesn't overlap. Hmm. That's annoying. We went through all that work to make sure to not miss anything on the lower floor. Now we're missing out on something on the upper floor. Ouch! Oh, come on. Alright, let's just skedaddle out of there. How much damage do these things do? You've got like. Pick up a pot. Oh, you gotta make it. So oh, yeah, I forgot! I always think that they're like, they don't hurt you when you touch them, but they totally do. Um. And I'm out of fairies, but I've got a bunch of blue potions. Got to remember to use those before I die, preferably. All right, excellent. Ah. And they've really got it out for me, don't they? I really want to see if there's anything... Okay, one second. We've got to use a potion. We do not want to die this far in. Well, there might be something useful underneath there, but we'll never know. It's too annoying to get with too much danger in the way. Yep. Um, hello. Sandy room. Oh, hey, you guys. It's the same as the first fight against them, but now there's bullets being shot at me. They go down way faster because my sword is super cool. I wish. <sighs> I wish these guys dropped hearts when you killed them. That would be nice. 
we don't always get what we want. And that just well, close behind us. I would say we can't get out, but we do have the mirror, so we can always get out. Yeah, this is uh, the room I saw when I was like scanning around for things. Where those guys appear. Oh, well, I did too fast. But hey, at least we got to see the shape of the room. Somewhat. You know what? Wait for them to fully appear. And then do this. I think that's just going to be the better way. There we go. Where are we? We've got quite a bit left. Alright. I think we're going to call it an end for today there. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll be able to get through floor 5, 6, and the boss tomorrow. Might be another boss after that. No, don't go running. We're putting a pause to it. Let me also equip a different weapon so that if I accidentally use my item, I don't waste a bunch of magic. All right. We'll call it there for today. We have made good progress up the tower, despite everything. I'll see you guys later.